We will move on to our next coach, the head coach of the Presbyterian College Blue Hose, Harold Nichols. Good morning, Coach. Good morning, Mark. Blue Hose suffered a heartbreaker uh, at Furman, uh, losing by one. Uh, now you had to enter an open date uh, early in the season, so if you can open up and talk about the uh, the Furman game and then uh, what you may be working on in the open date, we'll take any questions. Well, obviously, you know, we're we're disappointed in the loss. Uh, you know, we felt like that, uh, you know, we were well prepared going into the game. Um, I think we, you know, played at a high level for the, for the most part. Uh, you know, I, I was proud of the way our kids competed. Um, you know, we gave themselves a chance to win at the end of the game. And uh, But, you know, credit goes to the farm, and they made one more play than we did and, uh, and, uh, and, and won the game. Uh, you know, so, you know, going into this open date, um, you know, it's disappointing. Uh, but, you know, we got to, you know, put this game behind us, you know, kind of turn the page as, as, as quickly as we possibly can. Um, you know, we've got some, you know, guys that have got some dings after, you know, three tough opponents here at the beginning of the year and um, hopefully get those guys back healthy. Um, but, uh but, you know, I, I really like this football team. You know, they're pretty resilient. I like the, the character and the makeup of this team. And, and uh, you know, I think they'll they'll take some good hard lessons from this, this past week and, and uh, you know, try to correct the mistakes and forget the details and move forward. So, uh, you know, like I say, it was a, you know, uh, difficult, difficult loss, you know, because of, uh, you know, how close we came at the end, you know, come down to one play and, but, uh, you know, I think our kids understand, you know, that it's it's not, you know, just the last play of the game that uh, determines, you know, whether you win or lose. You know, there's a lot of opportunities that, you know, could have come up in the first, second, third, or, or fourth quarter, you know, that could have made a difference in that game. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll bounce back. I think that, uh, you know, there's a lot of things, a lot of positives to build off of off of last Saturday's game. And, uh, you know, disappointed as we were, I think, you know, that we'll – We'll turn the page pretty quickly and, and uh, get ourselves better fundamentally this week and, and turn the page for uh, for Charlotte uh, here on the 28th. All right, Coach, so this time we'll take uh, questions for Presbyterian College Head Coach Harold Nichols. To ask a question, please press star 1 on your phone at any time or click the Q&A link near the top of your browser and click raise hand if you join us via the web. Questions for PC Head Coach Harold Nichols. Coach, and I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and lead off with a, with a question for you regarding uh, playing three games against three different classifications of opponents. Uh, I guess it's a two-part question. But does the open date come at a good time after playing those three different opponents? And what have you learned uh, from those three different opponents that you'll be working on uh, this week as you uh, have the break? Well, you know, the way, I, you know, the way our schedule falls – this year, um, after coming off of three weeks and, you know, playing three really totally different opponents uh, with different styles of offense and those type of things, you know, I think you get a, an opportunity to prepare, uh, you know, three different game plans, uh, three different uh, um, types of games. Um, you know, you, you know, the first week against Wake Forest, you know, you're the big underdog. Second week against Brevard, you know, you're favored to win against Furman. Uh, you know, you you know, you're supposed to be in the ball game. You know, they're a, 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 a similar type team. So, you know, I think, you know, we'll be able to take a lot of good lessons from these first three weeks into this open date to be able to work on some, you know, some fundamental things. You know, you know, I, I, I think our turnover margin isn't what it needs to be. We need to do a better job on defense creating turnovers. We need to do a better job offensively taking care of the ball. And that continues to be a a, uh, a coaching point, a, a, a thing that we're stressing every day in practice, and, uh, you know, we can continue to improve as a football team every week, and I think all coaches are, are trying to do that with their with their prospective football teams, you know, of, of uh, you know, trying to get better each week. So, you know, those are a couple of things that you take from the first three ball games, you know, a lot of lessons learned, and, you know, I like I say, I, I like this football team, and I think they'll respond in a positive manner here going into the open date, and, and uh, you know, hopefully be able to get some wins down the stretch here. Coach, and uh, my last question for you, kind of going back to the Furman game real quick. Uh, uh, great opening half, the 20 points, and then uh, the second half, 
weren't able to get on the scoreboard and Furman was able to come back. What did you kind of notice, any kind of trend there that uh, stood out? Well, I think this. I think, you know, uh, you know, we had a big turnover, made it a short field for them. Um, there in the second half, we had a uh, um, uh, we had a shank punt uh, that, that hurt us there in the second half. So we made it a short field for them two times. And uh, which led to led to two scores for them, and you know you just can't you got to be able to execute on your punt team right there and be able to gain that yardage that, that you need, and then uh, you know you can't turn the football over against a good team. And uh, so those were two mistakes that happened there in the second half. We missed some opportunities offensively um, where we had some plays to make, and we didn't make them in the second half, which we did in the first. So uh, you know we got to be uh, you know look at what we're doing as far as um, you know, putting our kids in a better position to be successful offensively and then being able to execute a little bit better uh, on teams, you know, at, at some critical times in the game. So, you know, a lot of things to work on. You know, I don't think that, uh, you know, you ever um, uh, run out of things to, to worry about or work on, that's for sure. So um, I think, you know, those were two things that, you know, hurt us there in the second half against Furman. And, uh, but, you know, credit goes to them. that You know, they're a sound football team and, very talented, and uh, um, so, you know, credit goes to them, too. All right, well, thank you, Coach. Uh, I appreciate you joining us this morning, and uh, enjoy the open eight, and we'll talk to you next Tuesday. Well, Mark, thank you, and I wish all the other teams in the league this week good luck. All right, thanks, Coach. Yes, sir.